Okay, so welcome to another Let's Play. Um, just one second here. Just got to get everything situated. Um, okay, so the game we're going to play today is uh, League Bowling. And uh, let me get that up here one second. Okay, it is also another um, arcade archive, but it's uh, a more, um, it's a different series of the arcade archives. It's the, um, it's the Neo Geo arcade, arcade, arcade archive series. So if you, um, you know, again, if you have a Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, or Microsoft Xbox, I'm assuming it's on Xbox, um, you can get the arcade archive series uh, for Neo Geo games. You know, you just enter Neo Geo in the search bar and a series of uh, Neo Geo games for arcade archives is available. So, um, yeah, and it's, it's about the same price. Um, you know, $6.99 or seven, no, sorry, $7.99. So... Again, it's got the same features like the other games. You can play the Japanese version, English version. Um, so game was developed by uh, SNK for the Neo Geo. Uh, it was developed in 1990. Um, these bowling games were very popular. Um, I've never actually played the game or seen the game. I'm assuming this game was on a, the, the original Neo Geo arcade hardware, which only was restricted to a stick and four buttons. So it didn't have the rollerball. I'm assuming it didn't have the rollerball like most bowling games back then did or bowling games today. So yeah, if you ever played like a lot of the bowling games at maybe at a, at a sports bar, um, you'll see games with like one button here for going to the left, one button here for going to the right, and then a rollerball track that determines um, how, how the speed of the, the, the um, bowling ball or the direction of the bowling ball. So those games are really popular. Let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and give this a shot. And this game should be pretty short. I'm just going to probably play one or two games, bowling games. Um, okay, control wise, very simple. Oh, there's the Neo Geo intro screen. That always that always brings back good memories. Looking back at those games, and I like the graphics and displays as it is. Even the wallpaper is not too hard on the eyes, so <clears throat> let's just go ahead and just start. No need to mess with the display. All right, so I'm just going to go with the one player. You can play up to four people if you want, but I don't have four other people, so we'll just go with... And we'll just go with the regulation. Now, um, you pick left hand, right handed. How heavy, how heavy your balls want to be. Um, and then you got that hot girl there. I don't know why she's there, but... Okay, so what you want to do is you want to try to... You press the button to determine uh, how much of a direction or spin... Oh, wait. I waited too long. Almost got a strike there. All right, so you can move the guy. And then I'm going to try to get in the middle there. I didn't do it. Okay, that was terrible. All right, so I'm going to go in the middle. Move the guy to the middle. Middle. No. Full power. Okay, I'm sucking really bad right now. Middle. Power. Okay, so all it really is, it's just, you just, you don't even need any um, serious controls. All you got to do is determine if you want to go left or right. You press a button to uh, determine the meter. And that's how you play the game. Um, I don't know if I'm explaining this. Well. I've, I've... Okay, I'm doing really terrible. But that's okay. We're going to play another game, and I think we'll do better. So left or right to control the guy. Press uh, Y to determine direction and power. Y to determine direction of the ball. Y to determine how much power. Left or right to move the guy where you want him to be. And I'm going to try to get in the middle with full power. 
and hopefully that'll get it, but that doesn't usually work. All right, so what I like to try to do is get him slightly to the left or right, towards the middle, full power, and then see if I can hit either the pin to the left or right of the middle. And sometimes you can get a strike that way, but right now it, nothing's working. Try this again right here. Middle, no. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Very left, slight to the right, lower power. Yeah, and of course, you know, you see the person to the right. That could be the second player, so you could play against your friends. Go here. I'm going to try that. Oh, there we go. I like these animations. They're pretty funny. <coughs> Alright. Right here. Close to the middle. Full power. That might do the trick. No. Almost. Might, I might be able to get a spare here. Can't go too crazy with the power. No, nope. almost. Alright, try this again. Oh, that was terrible right there. A <coughs> gutter ball. <coughs> I think this is almost to the end of the game. Now I'm not really much of a bowler in real life. I just I'll, I'll occasionally go bowling, but I don't do it too much. It is a fun sport though, and I do enjoy playing it on the um, like these this old arcade hardware. Alright, what, what is my score? 76. Alright, let's play one more game. I'm gonna play one more game. Again, this game is gonna be short. And you're this weird looking dude with blue spiky hair. It's like, I don't know what he's doing. He's like, what is he, like raising the roof? Is he like flexing his biceps? Like. <clears throat> Okay, one more time. Let's play one more game. I'm gonna go regulation. Um, he's got his balls in his hand. Uh, we'll just go with left-handed. Yeah, left-handed. Yeah, we'll, we'll bowl with his left hand. Oh, yeah, that could have been a strike if it was a little bit further to the... Um, right, I think. No. Like chewing. He likes to chew bubble gum when he's bowling. Ooh, that was a good one. Alright, now if I could just get this thing to go a little straighter. No, I didn't get that. Okay, go to the slight left here. Full power. That didn't do it. Yeah, the graphics around here are pretty good. As is the animation. That could have been a strike or a spare. Trying to go for a strike. Can I get a strike? Can I get a strike here. I love those animations. That's cool. Oh yes, yes. Oh no, that's a spare. Got all, got it. Sorry, I got all excited for nothing. I get a spare on this one. No, not happening. Oh my gosh. And he's eating a hamburger before he like bowls.
I like all them weird people cheering them on, man. Like that dude with the mohawk and that little girl. And that dude with the frickin' mustache back there. It's just interesting cast of characters supporting you. Hmm. There we go. Oh, almost a strike. You know, it's like I'll get close, but not quite there. Just want to go slightly to the left. I still got it. Okay, I got the spare. I just want to get a strike, though. Can I get a strike? No. It's like either I don't get the, the direction right, or I don't get the power quite right. It's... Try this again. I like to go to the side here, slightly to the left or right. Try to get in the middle. Try to get it full power. And see, I almost got a, a strike there, but it wasn't quite enough. Flexing his muscles. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, hey, I got a strike. What do you know? That was an accident. Didn't mean to do that at all. And it's funny when you do something on accident, it works out, but not always. Oh, lightning strikes twice. Got myself a double. Can I get? A th can I do three in a row? Can I do that three in a row? No, not happening. Can I get a spare? Hundred and seventeen, that's an improvement. Now he's gonna like flex his nuts now. Naming. Oh, I got my name? No, I didn't get my name. Hold on, let's play one more game. Let's see what this flash is like. Hey, let's ball. I love those Neo Geo graphics. They're, they, they always had... It was a good system, you know, for its time when it came out. But I didn't know too many people that had them because the games themselves were like... $200 at the time. Oh, that's a gutter ball. So yeah, the, the I think the system itself was like... 500 or 600 at the time, so the console that came out. But the games by themselves were like 200 or $300. So, yeah, no kid could afford that back then, you know? If you were a kid that had um, one of those systems with many of the games, you, you had a rich parent. Because there's no way you could afford that, you know? And, and in my opinion, those games weren't really worth it. Yeah, they were good games. They were all good games. I, I hardly think there was a very bad game on that thing, but but what's the point? You couldn't afford it, you know? So, since that was the case, I think SNK decided to make these arcade machines where all you had to do was insert the original cartridge into the arcade machine, and you could just play in the arcade. So there was, like, really no point in buying one. Now, you could buy it now, and it's probably cheaper, but the, the, game, the original games are really hard to find, though, I think, nowadays, because everybody's collecting... Um, the original hardware or the original games. Now, SNK did come out with a, um, I think a cheaper console. They came out with a Neo Geo CD and they started putting the games on the CDs. So, yeah, CDs were a lot cheaper and you could put just as much memory on a CD than a cartridge. You didn't need to, like, do all that jazz with a cartridge. You could just put it on a CD. But, but at the time, CD technology was new. I think very few companies were using it. Um, I think the only companies using it at that time was like NEC for the Turbo Graphics or PC Engine. And then I think Sega was experimenting with the Sega CD. Um, and then Nintendo, I, I remember reading something a long time ago. Nintendo wanted to make a CD-ROM add-on for the Super Nintendo. And I think they were trying to work with Sony to do that. But for whatever apparent reason, they had this deal deal going on with Sony and they ditched Sony in play for uh, Philips for some reason. Of course, it never got made. So, um, 
of course, Sony did their own thing. Instead of, uh, since they got ditched by Nintendo to make a CD-ROM, they just, I guess, went ahead and made the PlayStation. If I got the story right there, but yeah, that was like, that's just history in the making, I guess. Now, I, I do like both companies. I, I do like Nintendo and uh, Sony. I've always liked the PlayStation. I've, I've had, I've always had like all PlayStations, with the exception of the PlayStation 5. I'm still waiting for that to go down in price. Oh, what is this? I mean, you know what? I've been talking so much. I haven't been playing. I haven't been paying attention to this game very much. So you, there's a timer going off, and then oh, it's a series of points that you have to get while you're playing that bowling game. So you get more points. It's just based off that um, that scoring system that they've got going on. I wasn't paying attention very much to it. I was just talking. Sorry, I tend to be one of them people. I can't do two things at once. I can't like chew bubble gum and, and like pat my belly at the same time, something like that. But um, hey, let's check out this intro. I like this. I like. I love these Neo Geo graphics. But uh, yeah, what was I talking about? Let's let's play one more game. Let's try Strike 90. Let's bowl. But yeah, I've always liked the PlayStation um, game consoles. Not a big Microsoft fan. I did have the Xbox 360 and the Xbox when it came out. But after that, I just stopped buying um, Microsoft products. Uh, just something about Microsoft. Well, I mean, I got Windows, but I mean, like, the Microsoft game consoles. Um, there's just something about Microsoft that just rubs me off the wrong way, that company itself. Um, although I wouldn't mind getting maybe an Xbox Series X just to play Starfield. But other than that, I don't really have a reason to get a Xbox. I got a PlayStation. Um, or a new Xbox, I should say. I got a PlayStation 4, or er, 4. And a Nintendo Switch, and I'm good with that. You know, I, I don't, I don't think I need anything else. Um, okay, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing here. I'm actually just playing a lot better. So there's a timer. You gotta like bulb within that time limit. Gutter ball. So I'm trying to understand how to play this game. I, I haven't played this game very often, or very much. It is a fun game, though. Getting some good strikes. Oh, that was a spare. And the bass in this music is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, this game I haven't played too much of. I played other bowling games. Um, there's one bowling game I used to play at a sports bar and I don't remember what it was called but it was fun it had a rollerball set up I really like playing those games a lot better just because of different control schemes that was a great thing about arcades back in the day um I mean they got them like in arcades today too they just had much more creative control screens I think you know like the rollerball set up like I don't know if anybody's played Marble Madness, but Marble Madness had the rollerball set up. You just control the the marble going down some sort of hill with just the rollerball. That's cool. I mean, you don't really... I don't think you really see anything like that in, in your arcades these days. 
I could be wrong. It's been a while. It's been a long while since I've gone to an arcade. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't give too much information on this game, but you probably get an idea of what the game's like. Um, you know, it's a fun little game. If you like bowling, if you like sports games, you want to play something that's just not going to last a good... Uh, oh, wait, there's my name. Oh, okay, I screwed that up. Um, but yeah, you know, you want to play something short and sweet, and you like sports games, um, this is a good sports game to play. You know, you probably spend a good 10 or 15 minutes relax, relaxing while playing this game. And you know, the Neo Geo, they always had a lot of other good sports games. They had like, a, what was it? I think it was like Touchdown Fever, a football game, a good Baseball Stars 1 and 2. That's a good baseball game. Um... I had a golf game. I forgot the name of the golf game. I have it here, but um, let me see. Let me look for that. Oops, wrong button. Capture taken. Because I have it here. Because I'm going to probably plan on playing that at some point. Oh, big tournament golf. Yeah, so yeah. Um, so Neo Geo. You know, fighting games was a big thing. Um, they have they had a ton of fighting games. They had a ton of beat 'em ups. Um, they had some side scrollers, a lot of shoot 'em ups. I think running guns or uh, traditional shoot 'em ups, and then a lot of sports games. Um, so, so Neo Geo it was a good system, you know, for its time. And you know, if you ever get a chance, try this game out, or maybe try other Neo Geo games out. You know, you just. Just type Neo Geo in the search search part of a you know PlayStation Network or Nintendo Switch Store or Xbox or whatever. Um, if you never played Neo Geo games, I'm assuming somebody may have not played them, but they're good games. All right, well that's it for this let's play. Um, I think the next let's play I'm going to do is Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. All right, we'll see you guys in the next let's play. Man, I love that intro.